physical containment is of two types. Uh, there are the primary barriers and the secondary barriers. And what are the primary barriers? The equipment which are used while handling the biohazard fall under primary barriers. This would include biosafety cabinets. It could include safety cups and a centrifuge, or it could also include things like auto pipettes. Uh, the second primary barrier is the personal protective equipment, which are the gloves, the safety gloves, the respiratory um, suit that people wear. These fall as primary barriers. The secondary barriers are the infrastructure in which these kind of researchers or handling of biohazard is conducted. What would that include? Would include separation of the laboratory space from the rest of the areas or the general access areas, introduction of airlocks, introduction of certain uh, equipment within that facility to allow the decontamination of the uh, biohazard after the experiment is over. And then, of course, the emergency means in terms of exit showers, signages, waste disposal beams, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And we will cover a little bit of this when we come to the facility uh, design aspect of it. 